Was it a case of racism or a deputy following protocol? A Hamilton County Municipal Court judge is wondering why he was tagged going into the courthouse, a place he's worked for nine years. WLWT News 5's Curtis Fuller has the story of the judge who says he was being judged. Hundreds of people pass through security checkpoints here at the courthouse every single day. But an ID stop of a judge this week has sparked serious allegations and new rules. This isn't about politics, and it's not about race. This is about our deputy doing his job. Judge Ted Berry had heated words this week with a deputy. The judge told me he viewed the deputy's actions as selective enforcement. On both Monday and Tuesday, Judge Berry was asked to show identification as he entered the courthouse. We obtained these photos from outside the courthouse Tuesday. You can see the judge leaving at about 2.03 Tuesday. Two minutes later, he goes back inside. In these letters, Deputy Stephen Wells tells his supervisor Judge Berry was angry and used profanity when asked for ID. Wells said he didn't recognize the judge, and the second day he couldn't see his face because he had a hood on. Judge Berry said he took his hood off when he entered the building. Berry also called the action by Deputy Wells, quote, unacceptable profiling. A spokesman for the sheriff's department says the deputy is new at the courthouse and his responsibility is to protect, not profile. It's a regular occurrence and it's something that I would certainly expect that if, uh, again, someone's new, how are they going to know me? Uh, and I would have no problem and I don't think anyone else would have a problem providing an ID knowing that they're just looking out for you and your safety. In a conversation by phone, Judge Berry told me he apologized to the deputy when he met with Wells and his supervisor in his chamber. He said, quote, I apologize for overreacting, but I don't tolerate prejudice and profiling. Now everyone, judges included, must show ID. The only exception, a person or group must get prior security clearance. I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5. Judge Barry is the second African American judge who raised an issue about what Barry perceived as harassment. The other judge was William Mallory.